What are the worst 10 items in Repentance? Edmund McMillan, the creator of The Bonding of Isaac, reached out recently. But I would like to know what you guys think are the top 10 worst items in The Binding of Isaac. So we discussed them on stream. This is the final list that we came up with, and I wanna use today's video to talk about these. I'd love your feedback in the comment section down below, but also know that not all of us are going to agree, so be civil, please. A lot of this is subjective. A lot of people aren't aware of the current fixes that have already been in place in Repentance, and some of us just play the game differently. Once again, here's my worst and why. Let's start with an easy one. There are some items in the game that I just straight up don't like, but then there are the items that I would never touch, ever. Data Miner. I get it, I get it, Ed. You were upset when Dana Miners discovered the secret of the lost, ruined Keeper's ARG, messed up a lot of cool stuff that she had planned. People yeah. already fucking fucked it up. They all, they, they fucked. All They're they, they, they couldn't resist it. They had to break it apart. And even though people were fucking actively working on some of the biggest secrets that would have taken a while to unfold, they said, no! I want it all now! And I do believe that Data Miner was essentially a giant middle finger towards that group of people. But I'd love to see Data Miner actually be used for something really interesting. Here's how Data Miner currently works. For the current room rotates every enemy and pick up 90 degrees and moves its sprite up and left. Increases one of Isaac's stats and decreases another. Adds a random tier effect for the current room, distorts the music for the current room. This item just isn't good. I've had so many bad experiences with it that I just won't use it again. Sure, maybe situationally if you have rock bottom, but let's take a break there for a second. If an item is only good if you have rock bottom, that item is not good. There are so many people that will argue this exact point. But Huts, if you just have this one item out of the 700 plus items, then it becomes a good thing, right? No. No, Tim. Oh. Yeah, I still think that it's right, though. Let's talk about how we can fix this dang item. Maybe make it more positive than negative. Increase two stats and decrease one stat. Make there be only a chance to alter sprites. Or, bear with me here, what if we actually use data miner to actually data mine? This would require completely changing the item, but think about this. Much like how Dreamcatcher shows you what's in future item rooms, maybe data miner could show you a random item that's upcoming. Maybe it shows you the next item room's item. Therefore, you can skip it and increase your planetarium chance. Maybe it shows you what's going to be in the devil deal so that you can alter your ability to earn that. Or maybe you want to go angel instead. I feel like this would be really useful. It would be true to its name and it's not too overpowered. That's my crazy idea. Let me know your thoughts if you want to add on to that or if you think that's terrible. Next item, thin odd mushroom. A lot of people love this item and I'm going to upset a lot of people by saying I avoid it at all cost. Why? It's a massive tears up. One of the highest flat tears up in the game, but it comes with a cost. Reduces damage using the following formula. Damage from other items times 0.9 minus 0.4. Because it's a damage multiplier of less than one, every future damage upgrade will be less. I don't know about you, but I really, really enjoy trying to get my damage stat as high as possible. And one of the biggest reasons I don't take this is that I usually max out my fire rate at 5.0 almost every single run. This means that late game Finod Mushroom is an absolute no-go. No way. I'm probably already capped, or close to, so I never, ever, ever take Odd Mushroom. How would we fix this? We could remove the damage down altogether. Maybe decrease the tier up a little bit to justify not having that damage down. Or, instead of a damage multiplier, maybe just make it a flat damage down. I would definitely consider taking it at that point in time. Possibly instead of all of that, you could even keep the damage multiplier but make it so that it breaks the tier cap. This completely solves the issue of me being locked at 5.0 fire rate. If I could bump that up to six, if it was cancer level tier delay down, I think I would take the 0.9 damage multiplier. Any of these fixes would completely change my mind on this item. I know that a lot of you love, 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 love this item. 
but I just don't, and I will not take it. Let's continue on the mushroom train here. Let's talk about wavy cap. But Hots, wavy cap is pretty good if you have rock bottom. I really don't enjoy wavy cap. Hots, I think I broke my face. I totally get it. Much like Thin on Mushroom, with the positive comes a negative. But that negative makes the game not good. Especially if I'm trying to stream. Ed, I'm going to hurt somebody. Here's my thoughts on how to fix it. I really like the idea of keeping the psychedelic effect of the mushroom without surgically removing someone's brain and placing it directly into a meat grinder. And to do that, let's look at Insanity from Don't Starve. In Don't Starve, as you go insane, you start to hallucinate enemies, things that aren't actually there. And if you get to a certain point, those creatures become real. I think that'd be a perfect way to save Wavy Cap. Perhaps as you use it more and more, you see more enemies. Like maybe enemies are just strictly duplicated. Or maybe it makes enemies into champion versions or they switch between champion versions, kind of like the psychedelic color effect, but applied to just the enemy color. Maybe you see shots and bullets that aren't actually there. So it interrupts the way that you're trying to dodge. Maybe make fake grid hazards, spikes and blocks that aren't really real. I think that that would be a really fun way to say, yeah, you're getting a lot of tears, but we're gonna mess with you while still having the game be playable. God's flesh. Let's just cover all the mushrooms we don't like. Tears have a 10% chance of applying a shrinking effect, causing enemies to shrink in size and also run away from Isaac. Shrunken enemies can be crushed and killed by walking over them. The shrinking effect lasts five seconds, does not affect bosses or mini bosses. So why do we not like this item? Historically speaking, as it still states in the wiki, any enemies that spawn from the death of a shrunken enemy do not carry over the shrunken effect. I have recently tested this and I think that has been fixed, which was one of my biggest biggest complaints of it. But champions and enemies that explode upon death will damage Isaac if crushed. That one still remains true. You can really hurt yourself by trying to step on shrunken enemies, which completely removes its usefulness. I'll still pick up God's flesh, but I literally never ever use it or try to step on any of the enemies. So how do we fix this? Well, quite simply, remove the ability for squished enemies to hurt Isaac. Any spawned enemies, any champion status, any death rattle that will happen with that enemy should be nixed. If an enemy would generate an explosion on death though it would be really funny to add in a tiny little explosion a little poof a little explosion fart and if you wanted to you could even have that push isaac around have some sort of knockback effect instead of taking damage i also think that it should apply to bosses and mini bosses but instead of one shotting them instead of being able to step on them and kill them immediately maybe the only thing that happens when they shrink is that they just lose contact damage so you could use your contact damage or modifiers or orbitals safely for five seconds on a boss. Could be overpowered, but I think there should be something that allows you to use it on more enemies. Let's talk about Libra. Libra, of course, being the item that balances all of your stats. Historically, I've hated this item. It only had one good use, and that was soy milk. And then in Repentance, they changed it so that when you get soy milk and Libra together, you basically go back to base stats. So I'm thinking, all right, this is garbage now. But since slamming it on the stream, I've learned a thing or two about the updates to this item. First and foremost, if you hit the speed cap and you get more speed, it continues to balance into other stats. Previously, it would not. Also, Libra allows you to break the tier cap. These are two huge things that I've been looking for with Libra. Also, Kilburn changed up the way that it works, resulting in higher DPS now. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from the the worst list. I think I'm going to be taking this item in the future, but I'll probably make a video on it soon to really put it up to the test. Next up, Little Portal. Another item that I avoid taking altogether. The way it currently works is that it summons a portal familiar that launches itself in the direction Isaac shoots to deal contact damage to enemies. The portal will consume all pickups and trinkets in its path, converting them into blue flies and causing the familiar to become large and deal more contact damage. When the familiar consumes four pickups, it will summon a portal that will lead to an unexplored room on the current floor and its damage bonus is reset. The portal cannot lead to the floor's devil room, angel room, ultra secret room, alt path entrances, black market, or I am air room. Whenever I use this item, it always accidentally just eats everything. Do you need keys? That's too bad. Is that the only bomb that dropped in the floor? Sucks to suck. It's not worth the damage 
in my opinion. Some ideas to fix it. Maybe it doesn't automatically fire when Isaac is shooting. Maybe you have to double tap to shoot it so it's way more intentional. Honestly, we could stop there and that, that'd be enough. But we can do better. What if instead of consumables, it eats enemy bullets? Maybe change it into an orbital at that point. I think the idea of it creating portals is super cool. But my biggest problem there is that the room portals take Isaac to is determined at the time they're created. If Isaac clears the room the portal would take him to, he will still be taken to that room if he uses it. If it wasn't predetermined, then you could easily use these portals to get into your secret rooms, to get into your boss trap rooms. You could use it much like Teleport 2.0. But if we changed it so it wasn't determined at the time they're created, but at the time it was used, I would also like to see Devil Room, Angel Room, Ultra Secret Room, Black Market, I Am Air Room, all of these other rooms added back into that list. Possibly to make this less overpowered, maybe you have to eat 10 consumables in order to get a portal. Once again, please, 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 make it double tap shoot. Little Portal currently only knows the power to destroy. Next up, missing no. Look, guys, I, I don't know what to say about this. It's just not an item that I look forward to taking anymore. The best part about it used to be that you could stack up health upgrades, you could stack up transformations, but now upon re-rolling, you lose all of that. If I'm playing a run where I just don't care, or I'm doing polling of Isaac, then people seem to really like it. But if I'm trying to win in any way, I'm probably just not going to take it. I honestly don't know how to change it. There's been a lot of meaningful updates to the way that rerolls work in the game, namely not breakfasting anymore. But as far as this item goes, I can't get behind it. I just don't like it. That's all I got to say. That sums up every item that I felt the need to touch on. But let's talk about a few of the other ones that I threw up in this list. Nightlight. I won't take it. It's pretty detrimental in certain boss fights. Easy way to fix that. Maybe you have the ability to turn it on and off. Maybe by double shooting, double tapping. Also, I'd like it more if it pointed in the direction I was shooting, not in the direction I was moving. Mom's bra, mom's pad. I just think they're boring. Butterbean can't stand up on its own two feet. I'll probably take anything else other than Butterbean. Taurus, really helpful sometimes. An actually good item that is so annoying that I won't take it. The babies. Even though we have conjoined now, I still avoid taking a lot of the babies. Here's a potential fix for that. Maybe make it so that if Sister Maggie gets the final kill on an enemy, there's a 10% chance for a red heart to drop. Blue baby, 5% chance a soul heart drops. Ghost baby, 2% chance an internal heart drops. This would add just a little bit of excitement to these items, make you actually appreciate having them. Suplex just needs more iframes. Bag of crafting. If I'm not tainted cane, I need to know what I'm crafting. There's no excuse not to have the crafting GUI. It drives me nuts. Cursed Eye? I think there should be a limit to how many times it can teleport you. Or maybe it only teleports you to a random place in the same room. Make it annoying. Don't make it a run ender. Mars? Change it to double tap shoot, not double tap move, because I accidentally use this crap all the time. Ludo? Yeah, I don't know. I, I hate it. A lot. You might be surprised to see Spirit Sword on this list. I just think it needs more synergies. That's the exact same reason why Abyss is here. There's a small list of special locusts that can be generated by abyssing certain items. But as it goes, the item's worth is so much higher than the locust that it gives us. For example, if you use Abyss on Brimstone, you get a gray, larger locust that is otherwise normal. Yeah, I think I'll stick with Brimstone? Spoonbender, a purple locust that homes in on enemies. I'd rather just have homing shots. You better make all of my locusts homing, otherwise this is crap. So not only could these be better, but there could be a lot, lot more. Once again, I would really love to hear all of your thoughts about these items and your thoughts about what items you think deserve a fix even more than these. Hopefully this video generates some meaningful conversation and hopefully Ed will take this into account. Thank you all for watching. Thanks for being civil in the comment section down below and I will see you in the next one. See you guys.